Hello, hello. Come in, come in. How is everyone this evening? Come right on into our channel. How are you this evening? Come in, come in. <laughs> How are you? Please come in and join me this evening. I am Eve Lowry with The Baby's Booty and we are joining you guys live. And we have quite a bit to discuss this evening. Yay! got a lot going on got a lot going on also if you have a new baby keep it in mind let me know so that we can ring the bell we all know what the bell means so definitely let me know if you have a new baby we need to ring the bell for let's say hi to the folks that are in miss Beckham says no baby tonight <laughs> that's all right we'll get a baby the next time joyce says hello eve hi joyce how are you this evening purple cloud says hey hey purple cloud <laughs> rebecca jane says great to see you eve and great to see you as well carol coleman hey carol coleman gail how are you and justin is in the house this evening with you guys hi justin how are you this evening so how is everyone this evening i have some information for you all that is quite exciting i also have an update for you on the carolina thread box the subscription service to the thread and project package that we have going out once a month well we don't have going out but will does with the carolina thread box and so i wanted to give you guys an update on that as well but first i want to know how everyone is doing this evening how are you hey hey everybody hey hey everybody hey come join in with me can y'all tell i got a lot of energy <laughs> you would think i had coffee this evening but i didn't have coffee not yet uh there we go that's what i was looking for um i want to say hi to more folks who have come in let's see vitrilia hey love how are you welcome brenda scott from newfoundland hello my dear hello hello um vitrilia is saying hey to you justin i hope you saw that miss bickham says you're still having problems oh no okay well hi i hope everything is healing though hope everything is healing uh debbie kid says hi hey debbie kid and miss social deb from illinois hi miss social deb it's always good to have you in here eunice hi how are you this evening barbara raymond says hi even everyone in attendance from the big easy you're doing well i am glad to hear it miss nancy faust from iowa is joining us in the house as well this evening hi miss nancy thank you for being here with us how is everyone doing with their studios well i wanted to let you guys know what i've been working on lately here in the studio i know last time last week i mentioned to you guys that i was going to have a show coming up this past friday which i did um and i went and took my embroidery machine i had a pop-up tent um, I went on location as I did last year to do hats. They invited me back um, because people were asking to um, have us back to do hats on location. And it was a lot of fun. The only thing was as we were pulling up to the location because I wanted to get there early. They said we they wanted us set up and everything cleared out by a quarter to five because it was from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And as we pulled up, I saw dark clouds and I was like, oh no, I'm outside. I don't want to be rained on because last year when I went, it was chilly and drizzly. So I was like, I really didn't want to repeat that this time. Well, you guys, I didn't repeat that, but this time it was thunder and lightning and rain, but it wasn't hard rain, but it was raining up. So what I decided to do, it was me and my dad and my husband and my mom and we decided to just leave the equipment in the car for the time being um, until the weather cleared up some in hopes that it would have cleared up some and fortunately for us it did so about 
six o'clock ish something therein about the weather cleared up a good bit by 6 30 people were starting to stroll in and then the skies cleared and it ended up being an absolutely beautiful evening and if you're a part of the google plus group well guess what you can mosey on into the google plus group and look at the pictures from the event because i did post pictures for everyone to see so i had a really good time i picked up two new accounts uh, being out there so that was pretty exciting um, so hopefully everything will continue to work out business was pretty good but I had a lot left over and thus the part of the topic for tonight in de-stashing yay de-stashing de-stashing do we know what de-stashing is if you know what de-stashing is hit it up in the comments in the comment box and we'll get to it this evening so I want to continue to say hello uh, Will is in the house. Will with the Carolina thread box and Brenda Scott. Thank you. I appreciate you letting me know how awesome that was. So when I went to the show, I ordered extra hats. And then I also took hats that I had in the studio that had been just sitting there collecting dust because, you know, I tried to keep hats on hand. So that if I did get an order for hats, which I do oftentimes, um, then I would have a hat on hand to go ahead and do the embroidery on and just so happens i did have one hat order outstanding and i had hats for that already but those were set off to the side so the rest of the hats that i took well when i got back i happened to think about it i was like i have entirely too many hats okay um i'm trying to streamline my studio to where i have on hand pretty much what people come for all right so i do get hat orders but because they're so sporadic i've decided i'm not going to keep um inventory on hand of all of those hats because i had hats of every color all right so for instance i know for the event this weekend we are a tar heel state of course for unc tar heels i'm not a big sports person but there are a lot of people who are so i ordered some of these um these are mesh back trucker foam front caps i also ordered some mesh but not foam structured front caps that are white and then i have some black ones um and i also had non-structured hats um similar to these but not these are structured but not um the ones i had were unstructured but i started going through inventory when i got back and i realized how many blame hats i had you guys it was ridiculous especially for someone who doesn't do a lot of hats all the time so when i started looking at all of this inventory um that i had in here i'm like okay this is entirely too much to hear more hats these are pink now these i'm going to actually hold on to these hats and these are the type of hats that i was doing these and these this because of the carolina panthers and of course the season is up and running and i think they're winning right now i'm not 100 sure about that because i don't follow the games but Par carolina panthers when they're doing good people buy so i'm keeping the carolina panther colored hats um, but then I'm also keeping these because I have another show at the end of September and it's a women's uh, empowerment type uh, display where I can set up and sell women empowerment things. So, of course, the pink will be excellent for uh, the coming upcoming October for breast cancer. So I have those that I'm keeping, but I had every other color, purple, gold, royal blue, navy blue, black, white, red, and it was just too many so i decided to distash so let me see if um we wanted to you hear about the hats have way too many yes miss joyce definitely hi becky bartos how are you and dolores domino welcome you're coming to charlotte sweet definitely drop me an email to let me know when that will be so that i can meet up with you and say hi sylvia says hello love that you Love the hat you posted. Don't know about destashing. That's what I was coming in here to make sure that um, 
who has the information on destashing. So who's heard of destashing? As Sora says, hi everyone. And Brenda Scott says, what is your favorite style of hat? Now, and you're asking me about uh, my favorite style of hat. Is that for embroidery or for wearing? Because I normally don't wear hats. But if you're talking about for embroidery, it would be the dad caps, which is what I have on now um, and what I have that I'm keeping and the reason why I like these is because it's unstructured okay now keep in mind I do have a machine that is equipped with a cap driver that allows me to hoop a hat easily and it turns so that it can embroider on the hat and makes my life so much easier than doing on a single needle machine right but imagine trying to do this hat on a single needle machine and when you go to flatten it out, it's much easier. See how simple that is to flatten because it's not structured, okay? So it's you can put these on a uh, single needle machine very simply. You can hoop it with either the hat hoop that I did the video on, which is this little gadget right here. You can hoop it just like this hat is. It holds down the bill and you can flatten out the top of the hat or you can do a structured hat but notice how difficult it is to flatten out this structured hat okay because it has structure to it it's like almost like cardboard right so these i can do on my machine over there because this isn't like a heavy structured um surface like a lot of other hats are and the build is curved so that's friendly to my machine but these are still pretty difficult to embroider on, especially if you don't have a design that's digitized for a hat. All right. So these will wrinkle up pretty easily on even my machine and it can be really frustrating. So I do prefer the unstructured caps all day long, hands down, because they're very simple to use. So the stashing let's get back to that miss joyce you are absolutely correct rebecca james you are correct as well and someone asked me would i marry them no sorry i already married <laughs> uh, barbara raymond i have and i need to i wear a lot in your line of work and a lot of times that is uh the case for a lot of people a lot of people like hats i mean i think i'm pretty cute I think I'm pretty snazzy in a hat, personally. I mean, that's just my opinion. But being that I have a husband that prefers the girly girl look, a lot of times I don't wear caps. So I could keep them for myself, but that's a whole heck of a lot of hats to keep and try and put designs on. So going back to answer the question, as Joyce pointed out and as Miss Rebecca pointed out, the stashing is when you sell off your extra inventory, okay? It's a really popular thing to do with a lot of crafters. So if you haven't heard of that, let's tell y'all how it works, all right? So if you are on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, you can showcase the extra things that you have and offer them for sale. There's one of a couple of ways to do that. I actually did that this morning. I went live on Facebook in um, the group embroidery group that I'm in, Embroidery Boss, and I let them know, hey, you guys, look, I have all these hats that I need to get rid of who would like to purchase hats and I showed them all the colors and all the different types of hats I even showed these these have been purchased by someone and I let them know that they were available for sale and once they let me know what hats they wanted I set them off to the side and told them shoot me their email so that I can invoice them from PayPal and let them know how much it would be plus shipping all right so that's how you just stash. it's pretty simple it's not hard to do why would you want to do that well one of the things that i'm learning really quickly uh, i've been doing this in the studio for three years now and it can get cluttered really really quickly especially if you don't have things organized in a really nice organized manner and i normally do all of my hats were stored in one location tucked away nicely for when I did need them, but guess what? I still felt like it was too cluttered, even with them put up 
out of sight in a really nice neat location so I've decided to streamline and get rid of a lot of things I'm actually going to dispatch some fabric as well I don't think I'll be doing that in the embroidery boss group I have a couple of local folks that I know that like to sew and use fabric so I'm going to give them a call and say hey come on down and get you some fabric so that's on that plan but I wanted to encourage you guys to look into doing a dispatch yourself okay because a lot of the times we as crafters we find that awesome sale like at joanne's fabrics or at one of our suppliers and we go above and beyond with a sale and we buy everything that we possibly can fit in our buggies and bring them back to the shop and it's a good thing especially when you're getting it on sale and that golden opportunity comes up and you can actually flip it and that's a good thing more often than not that opportunity sometimes doesn't come as quickly as we would like for it to so that's a good opportunity to de-stash here at the beginning of the month we're going to start some best practices that's one of them to do, to encourage you to find some item just one thing in your studio that seems to be piling up without really moving out too quickly and try to de-stash you don't have to de-stash all of it because as i showed you even with the pink hats I know I have a function coming up and it's pretty good opportunity to get rid of the pink hats with uh, October coming in breast cancer awareness, but you can keep some, but the vast majority go ahead and stash and you can sell it off. Use that extra money to put back into your studio, maybe buy some designs or something. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not sure, but just the best practice that will be encouraging at the first of the month. Also, another best practice that I want to encourage at the first of every month is to back up your embroidery designs, people. Oh my gosh, please back up your embroidery designs okay we all have our computers that we keep our embroidery designs on and there's more than one way to do it you can actually get um, a little jump drive such as this one and back up your embroidery files on it just stick it in the usb slot once a month and drag and drop your embroidery folder over to this drive and put it on there this one happens to be 16 gigabytes so for my embroidery designs, it's not quite big enough, but it'll work for my new updates until I can get to my bigger drive. But what I actually do is I drag and drop my files into my Google Drive folder. Woo, Google Drive? How do you do that? Well, I don't know. The majority of you guys, do you have iCloud or do you have Android? Okay, so if you have Android, you have access to Google Cloud because you have to have a Google account in order to access your Google phone, your Android phone, right? So you can log into your email and look up Google Drive and it'll shoot you right over into your Google Drive folder and you get a certain amount of gigabytes for free every month and it's more than enough to back up your embroidery files usually, okay? So you can go on a desktop or your computer, log right into that Google Drive and drag and drop that embroidery folder onto the desktop. Now that may take a while, your very first download, but after that you can continue to drag and it will update the files that are new. So you may want to look into doing that. Or again, you have your uh, iCloud. iCloud, you can also back up your files to that because it's inevitable at some point in time our laptops go down our computers crash or the reason why i prefer to do online is if something were to happen and i needed to access those files and i'm not at home and need to use a different computer for whatever reason whether it be to email a design i digitize back to a customer um, or something of that magnitude I can access it online. It's really simple. It's right there. I don't have to worry about losing a little flash drive. It's there. So give a idea. Look into doing uh, your backups online. Okay. The first of the month, it's September what? I don't even know what it is. Second, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's September the 2nd because tomorrow's the 3rd. So September the 2nd, 2018 let's back up those embroidery files let's also look into de-stashing one item this month pick something simple that's not going to drive you absolutely insane and look at de-stashing okay even if it means just putting a little ad on craigslist and getting rid of something it's not 
too terribly hard to do all right so going back to the chat let's see who else we have in here miss tracy jones hello to you my dear debbie how are you and she says hello to everyone else hi debbie miss joyce says i did the stash with friends for the fabric need to do it again if this time a lot doesn't go off to a local middle school as they make quilts and local theater groups now that's a really good idea local schools that do crafting and theater groups definitely because they use fabric to make their costumes and sets and props and things and that's a wonderful opportunity to donate and give back so that's an awesome idea will says dropbox is a great cloud-based backup as well yes it is um dropbox you also can buy bigger as you can do on Google Drive as well you can buy bigger uh, amounts of storage and it's not horribly expensive because I actually buy more storage than what they offer for free mainly because I also back up photographs my personal photographs and uh, videos as well so you can do that quite easily miss Sylvia says you only download embroidery through your USB is this the same yes it is if you're um, talking about as soon as you purchase it you put it on one of these yes it's the same thing it's still backed up but you may also want to have a second copy all right that's the backup to your actual drive where your designs are and that's what we're trying to get at having more than one copy in the event of something tragic happening to the original copy you have a backup or definitely make sure that your lists that you know when you make a purchase say embroiderylibrary.com you have an account with them where your downloads are there uh, in your email so that you can go back and download them again but the problem with that and I know it's there and if you choose to continue to use that version that's great I'm not going to dissuade that um, because I keep that as well but if I lost everything I would have to remember all of those different places where I purchased uh, all of those designs and fonts and things like that and go back and re-download them again and like oh my god designs by little b her site itself i would be on there for forever re-downloading the things that i bought in embroidery library i would crash their servers probably trying to re-download all of that stuff all over again so that's why we're encouraging having a backup to your backup um you're welcome, Miss Sylvia. That's not an issue at all. Miss Social Dev says the USB or flash drives do go bad at times. Yes, I store on an external hard drive and Google Drive. That is absolutely correct. Unfortunately, we have things where you just can't can't predict what's gonna go bad when. So that's why we are encouraging your backups to your backups here at the first of the month. Dropbox, you say, is $10 for a terabyte. That's not a bad price at all, Will. Thank you for letting us know that. Valerie Hill, hello. How are you as well? Leah Jones, hello. I will watch late. Sorry, <laughs> was busy. Happy Labor Day. Thank you, Leah. Not a problem at all. We're here. Now, we've already encouraged you to back up your embroidery files. We also have encouraged you to just stash, to get rid of one item that's cluttering up and piling up in too much of inventory in your studio now i want to get in and let you guys know what's going on awesome with carolinathreadbox.com we have an update for you guys which is really cool um and what i want to do is bring that image in and let you know what we have going on now it's about time for the first box to roll out how exciting is that so if you don't have your subscription yet let's go ahead and put that up on the screen so that you can know where to go to get your uh subscription signed up all right will let them know i'm pretty sure you extended the discount for the baby's booty correct I'm pretty sure you did it seemed like I remember that in the newsletter so if you have not already gone online to subscribe it is a subscription service um, and it does offer you four spools of thread and each level each price level of each box comes with a subsequent subsequently larger 
spools of thread <laughs> there's four different levels to the box i'll put it that way um and each one comes with sulky thread which is very excellent quality of thread and a project and all of the information uh, and materials that you need in order to complete the project so we're really excited about the first one rolling out on september the 15th is that correct will they roll out on the 15th and shortly thereafter you should be getting your box now the first box is pretty cool and let's see if we can't access that um, what we'll do is as soon as i get my box uh, we'll do an unboxing so that you guys can see exactly what I got in my box and then we'll schedule doing a live uh, put together of our first project and we'll do it together if you don't guys don't mind not sure that I'll do that during the live on Sunday I might I don't know we'll have to see how everything goes but we'll definitely work towards getting our first live project together all right so if you haven't signed up for your subscription box you're going to miss out on that now i'm trying to find we have an updated picture of what that box is going to look like let me see if i can't pull it up this way meanwhile what do you guys have going on in your studios this week all right up oh, will says september the 10th is the last day to sign up for the september uh subscription box all right so september the 10th last day for the september subscription box let me see i am having trouble finding this picture wheel of course i am <laughs> it wouldn't be right any other way oh i know how i can get it for you guys i don't know why i didn't think of that let us see um google drive marianne says two terabytes for ten dollars is a better deal <laughs> i love my google drive i'm sorry i have everything on google drive um tiffany says hi i love your video so much your voice is so soothing thank you tiffany right now i feel hoarse <laughs> i'm like oh my gosh i should have brought my drink so that i wouldn't be croaking in you guys ears that is hilarious joy says do you know ahead of time the project mm. will how are you doing that are you letting people know a little sneak peek ahead of time for each month what's going to be like the month prior you give a sneak peek for the next month have you considered doing that i'm pretty sure that's what the question is have you considered doing that and meanwhile you guys see what he has to say on that i'm gonna find this blame picture and pull it up so that i can show you guys uh because he was nice enough to send that information today so that i can show you guys what's in the first box a sneak peek it's not completely absolutely everything but it's a sneak peek of what's in this box so I finally figured out how to do this picture wheel. I think you probably have iPhone. And when you took the picture, my uh, computer was like, mm -mm, we don't want to uh, <laughs> have anything to do with that brand of picture. All right. So let's do almost ready, you guys. And it's actually really cool. I'm excited. I'm so excited. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. And we're going to add this image. All right. Here we go. And I'm going to move it right here. So this is carolinathreadbox.com. And actually, we do it this way. Y'all, you know, I'm not 100% technologically advanced, so you'll have to forgive me on uh, not watching the camera and talking to you guys while trying to figure this out. But here you go. Here's a sneak peek of what's coming for September. So it's rolling out September the 15th. All right. So if you don't have a subscription already, 
look at those gorgeous colors now what comes in your subscription box the largest box the largest box did i say that correctly comes with that back row of threads all right so the back row of threads is what comes in the largest box all right the next step down is the second row from the back the next step down is the third row from the back and the least expensive box comes with that first row of threads and the black squares and the little dot is part of your project so we're not going to tell you what that project is but it looks to seem to be a lot of fun and i'm going to tell y'all i know what it is Ooh, i know what it is i know what it is but i'm not going to tell what it is but i think it's pretty cool so i'm excited to do the project with you i will tell you this i will tell you this though it is so stinking easy it is a very simple project so if you're in a, a beginner embroiderer you really need to jump on this project because if you're nervous about doing anything in the hoop you haven't done in the hoop before now is your time to do an in the hoop project it is very simple to do very very simple and i'm really excited about doing that with you guys all right so let's go back to the chats and see what's going on um oh my gosh hi dar smith greetings to you too love you're on the road love to you and yours blessings and salutations dar please be careful on the road uh we wish you the best on your trip home please stay safe please stay safe becky bartow says you've been having difficulty with the frame locking on your pe 770 um what do you mean oh locking into place hmm that's not good how long have you had your machine is it relatively new because if it is, that may be something you have to um, contact the manufacturer for because that's not a good thing. Um, are you able to get it to lock sometimes and just not all the time or is just not locking anymore at all? That's a pretty heavy question because that's um, dealing with the mechanism on the machine and that may have to be replaced. Now, that's something I haven't done yet. <laughs> I have not been brave enough to take apart the embroidery arm itself. I took apart the machine all day long because I know how to take apart a sewing machine. But that embroidery arm is a horse of a different color. So I'm not going to advise anyone on taking the embroidery arm apart just yet i may be brave enough to do it in the future but right now i'm not i'm still being chicken brenda scott says has anyone decided what they are focusing on for christmas i guess that's an excellent question for me it's a little bit early um because right now i'm still tripping that they got halloween stuff coming out and i'm not a focus on holiday person at all uh but it's just they're doing stuff so early i mean early i want it to get kind of cold before we start talking about pumpkins and stuff i mean maybe it's just me <laughs> but it's still hot and i don't want to hear nothing about no pumpkin latte spice nothing until i at least get chilly when i walk outside and i haven't done that yet so right now it's still too hot to be talking about that kind of stuff Lorna Putt says, I'm working on appliques using vinyl this weekend. Awesome. I downloaded a really cute design this weekend. It was a zebra with pink glasses on and his lenses on his glasses was clear vinyl. It is adorable. So I'm super excited about trying that project out. Sylvia says, I've made some fridge cover and stove cover handles. That's really cool. And Will, you've been thinking about doing a preview of each project. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure they would really appreciate that. Miss Phenomenal Creations. Hello, dear. Good evening to you as well. Thank you for joining us this evening. Bickham, I will definitely do that. Brenda Scott says, cool, Will yes it will be in the box of what's coming up so hopefully that answers your question about whether or not you'll know what the next project is brenda scott says you love your website carolina thread box thank you for letting him know that oh and will as kind as he is he always reminds me of the sizes of the spools of thread the largest box has five five thousand five hundred yards of thread on each spool 1500 yards of, of thread on the next spool so let me uh pull that back up so you guys can see that again all right so 
the back row that's 55,500 yards of thread why can i not talk this evening oh my goodness so the white the beautiful purple the black and that gorgeous orange that's 5,500 spools yards per spool each <laughs> all right is it time for a nap somebody tell me it's time for a nap the next row up 1500 yards per spool gorgeous gorgeous thread and 850 yards in the next size down and then 250 yards per spool in the smallest box so keep that in mind when you are considering whether or not to purchase the box it is a price attached to it a monthly subscription price you're getting threaded an excellent deal so if you stop and think how much it is per spool retail and how much you're getting it for plus a project it's an excellent deal all right Callie's cotton hi how are you this evening thank you for joining us we appreciate you being here will says it will be a four by four friendly project that's the other awesome uh thing i meant to point out because he did mention that to me and i thought that was really awesome so each box is a four by four friendly project okay so don't be concerned that you're buying the box and you won't be able to do the project because your machine is only four by four all right so that's really cool um debbie says you can't wait joyce asked about the size hoop so we mentioned that becky says you're yes very new sweet so this would be an excellent introduction for you into in the hoop designs all right um will says you're going to keep it four by four. Oh, and he does offer larger sizes if it applies reefs by veronica hello everyone from houston welcome i was just in houston earlier this year so welcome to our chat thank you for being here brenda scott says it's kind of cooling off up north here you know what i didn't think of that brenda scott you're absolutely right i forget sometimes that just because my weather is like that here doesn't mean it's like that everywhere else so okay you guys can have pumpkin spice latte i ain't trying to hear <laughs> i'm not trying to hear that yet that is hilarious tracy jones says you're making a baby basket for a baby shower awesome that's really cool we had a gender reveal i was uh hearing about earlier today and was like oh man that means i'm going to have to put a basket together for them soon so i'm excited to find out whether it's going to be a pink basket or a blue basket so i'll know that later today not for me but for a family friend so no more grandbabies at this point anyway that we know of bickham says are we fixed at the initial size or are we able to change up or down on the thread box okay so that's an excellent question and if you need to know the answer to that question email will at carolinathreadplace.com all right oh will at carolinathreadplace.com sorry tracy jones says you're making your own stuffed animals for the basket now that's really cool i've done that before it's a lot of fun to make teddy bears miss social deb says i'm working on embroidery tissue rolls for a vendor fair in november you know what that's not a bad idea for me to add that to what i plan to do for september the 22nd the women's empowerment that sounds like that might be fun and a really simple project to do um let us see what i'm going to do now is mention something really cool okay i was contacted by one of our viewers um in addition to what we're dealing with with the carolina thread box and what this person has asked me to do is get up with you guys in regards to a book that she's writing okay so uh a viewer is writing a book in regards to embroidery how cool is that and this particular the first book rather is going to be focusing on hooping and hooping uh issues that you may or may not be having and like 770 is mentioning she's having issues with her hoop locking in i don't know that it will cover that but it will cover hooping just your basic general hooping information and some troubles that you may come across and some solutions that would prove to be helpful also some strategies on keeping your hooping straight or keeping your uh, item straight when you're trying to hoop quite possibly even multi-hooping but she wanted me to um, ask you guys 
what do you struggle with when it comes to hooping your projects all right so if you have um a response to that you would like to share with her so that she can uh address that in the book drop it in the comments drop it in the comments over here so that so that we can see it <laughs> so answer in the comments what do you struggle with when it comes to hooping your projects okay because she's going to see your answers in here to your to that question and she's going to put the answers in the book now she also wanted me to mention that the book when it does come out i'll know about it and be able to let you guys know um on the following live when it's just before it goes uh available that the book for the first couple of days will be free all right so if you are in the google plus group you will know immediately when it going when it's going to be released and when it's going to be free all right so if you're in the google plus group keep that in mind that's going to be an announcement there and we'll let you know when that ebook is free it's an ebook it's not a hard copy book so that's why it's really important to get your answers over here so that she can get access to it and then address it in a book and make it easier for other folks so what do you struggle with when it comes to hooping your projects? Also, what shortcuts do you want to learn about when it comes to hooping your projects? All right. Now, I will share one that I am very aware of. Um, and someone contacted me um, through email, I believe. And she was like, what is that special screw that you have on your hoop? And I'm like, special screw? What is she talking about? I don't have a special screw but i'll show you what she's talking about is and i hope i ain't showing you what on camera no okay good <laughs> um what she is talking about is my screw and i know a lot of people know this trick they have to know it but in the event that you don't um when we get our embroidery hoops you know here's a basic four by four embroidery hoop so if you have uh, the PE 770 then this would be five by seven. They also have a little teeny one For your smaller monograms so on and so forth But you have your thumb screw here to tighten it up and make sure that when you hoop your project It's taut like a drum. Okay, and it doesn't come apart on you because I've had that happen before Where it wasn't tight enough when I hooped it and that sucker came all the way apart And when I tell y'all I was sick as a dog, I was sick as a dog, but at any rate <laughs> This can be rough on our fingers, right? So add a cushion. It's not difficult. There's a little colored cushion. This is what she was talking about, a squishy cushion. And all that is, is pencil grips, okay? So if you get, these are pencil grips that you get from um, office supply, school supply, which this time of year, the pencils are plentiful. You can find them easily and you just basically slide it on the pencil like so and you can use it to write more comfortably Well, you cut that sucker in half and slide it on the screw and it makes it easier for you to twist and untwist and I'm sure that's probably going to be a tip that's addressed in the book because not everybody watches my live video shows so there's going to be someone out there that will benefit from that tip but you guys look it can even go on the daggum seam ripper for crying out loud so these little grips are excellent for a lot of different things and you get a pack for like a buck almost i think that's pretty much all it is at most two dollars for a pack of grips you know at walmart and once it's on it's not coming off because you see i'm struggling to get this one off but you roll it up and it should come right off but these are excellent for cushioning for our delicate fingers you know so little tips like that is what's going to be addressed in the book and also some major tips as well um that she will be putting in that book and it will be uh an ebook that you will be able to download and keep on your hard drive uh and reference whenever you're doing your projects which you'll be backing up the first of every month <laughs> So, yeah, there's um, some information for you that I was asked to uh, relay that to you all. She would really appreciate it. It would be helpful. I'm really excited uh, to see the book when it comes out. And just keep in mind, a lot of people thank me for being 
so generous and telling people tips and tricks and teaching people how to do things with embroidery and okay i get that i share what i know because i don't want anyone else to have a hard time in doing their projects or doing embroidery uh so i don't want them to suffer like i did when i first started right well you have the opportunity to help other people too so you can an answer your or you can ask your questions that you would like to see in the book that may have stumped you in the beginning and say, hey, have you thought about answering this question because it bothered me? You know, even if you know the answer, go ahead and ask the question anyway. And that way she'll add it in the book and you're contributing to helping someone else as well. And like I said, it's a free ebook, you know, in the beginning, definitely. So a lot of folks can take advantage of that um and make their lives a lot easier so what did you struggle with when it came to hooping and what shortcuts have you found that helped you or that you want to learn more about okay so it's really cool i'm excited for that so between um backing up your embroidery files i'm gonna recap that backing up your embroidery files all right as well as destashing one something in your studio to get rid of some clutter okay will's awesome box is right around the corner you guys i'm super super excited about our in the hoop project that's coming up and also helping out with an ebook how really cool is that so let's go back to the chat and see what we got going on let's see um debbie kid you say you're stitching logos on 100 and 75 scrub tops my dear you have fun with that <laughs> i hope you have a multi-needle a multi-head machine to help you out with that that is hilarious um brenda scott says keeping it straight and lining it up when doing large designs that require many hoopings that is an excellent thing um that's a trick that took a lot of blood sweat and tears for myself because i am not a mathematician at all no shape form or fashion so yeah when you have to do math and calculate and add up especially if it's words to make sure everything oh man Ooh, when i tell y'all yeah we, we we actually aren't even going to address that that that's a I, I have to refigure it out every time I do it because I don't do it enough <laughs> and that's not a good thing so that would be something cool to keep in a handy reference guide in an ebook or whatever so that I don't have to keep figuring it out every single time <laughs> I guess I need to make my own dad blame quick reference for my own math because not everybody does math so that's hilarious Miss Debbie says making hooded scarves for astronomy astronomy event your husband goes to every year now that's really cool so are you going to be on location selling those miss debbie because if so that's really cool we'd love to see a picture of it so if you're in the google plus group please post a picture i bet they're absolutely gorgeous lorna putt says i have looked everywhere for what you have on your screw on the screw on your hoop oh no i'm trying to tell you try um if you have Walgreens, I know Walgreens sells um, any any office supply store, office supply, Staples, Office Depot, Max, whichever one, Walmart, you have to go in the section where they sell mechanical pencils or pencils, regular pencils, because most pens come with a built-in grip, you know, so they're not really going to sell these where pens are, but pens are usually sold with pencils. So look for where the pencils are and you should find a pack of them um lorna putt says oh that's why i can't find them didn't know it y'all oh, gotcha gotcha yeah those grips are really cool thank you miss sylvia yeah the um the grips i man when i tell y'all i cried and i can't even remember where i saw this tip but i wish i could remember who it was i saw it from so that i can send them a personal thank you myself because that has saved my little fingers because when you have fibromyalgia it doesn't take much to irritate uh, your nerves around your extremities for certain Becky Bartow says when hooping a towel the bottom stabilizer continues to move around so it's moving around while you're trying to straighten out the towel and WSS on the top frustrating yes that would be frustrating so I'll make sure that she sees that and gets that tip addressed in her book will 
you said i bought one against your wishes what did i buy against your wishes i'm forever buying stuff that folks don't want me to buy <laughs> betty ann brown hello to you my dear thank you for being here jenny mckinney hey darling it's okay we understand i've been late too to my own blame party <laughs> <laughs> how crazy is that right so let's see you guys i don't know i haven't seen anybody say anything about a new baby wow that's the second time because last week we didn't have any new babies either so that's cool i guess you know we're taking a break from blowing the bank and buying babies <laughs> oh one of the kids yeah of course i'm gonna buy a kid why wouldn't i that's crazy i'm not about to expect no kit for free that's goofy tracy jones says you have a pack of grips in your sewing room i will post a picture in the google plus group and where she purchased them thank you very much tracy we appreciate that because they they are quite handy you can use them in a number of applications in your studio and anytime we have some quick tips for the studio it's always a lot of fun so you guys we're looking at a quarter till gonna start wrapping things up to make sure that we uh don't leave you out here at 9 15 9 20 keeping you online for forever this evening <laughs> i'm gonna try and behave and stay on time tonight will says your new button making machine will be here tuesday well that's cool he's gonna be making buttons so that sounds like that's gonna be a lot of fun and something to add to the uh sales regime regimen when you're out at the uh your shows will what's that she she wants to know what the button making machine is it's been miss brenda i don't know if you're my age or not and i really don't have any buttons here at all actually now that i think about it um but way 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 back in the day when we used to wear the round buttons that would say all kinds of different things and it's pinned to your to your shirt the plastic uh with metal on the back <laughs> that's what uh, buttons i'm pretty sure he's talking about yeah pin back buttons miss sylvia says your husband says that i should have a craft show on tv at least two hours no tell him no <laughs> tell him no i wouldn't be able to make it i would probably be horse as a horse <laughs> no i would not be able to go two hours i really couldn't i'm I, I struggle sometimes to do an hour so uh one day i may be able to go to if we're doing a project together but until then right now no it's only gonna be <laughs> it's only gonna be an hour betty ann brown says you hoop your stabilizers so the stabilizer you hoop and then i assume you're saying you float your projects miss betty ann brown kim solomon says i'm sure i'm around your age i am 42 about to be 43 i have no issues saying what my age is i am an old geezer <laughs> my uh i have a couple of friends that fuss at me every time i say that they're like you're a whippersnapper oh my god i am not a whippersnapper at least i don't feel like it but anyways um jenny mckinney oh yes you got to you got to use a dream machine wait a minute oh you gotta use dream machine a lot to learn pray for you when did you get it that's awesome dream machines are really cool they're really cool they're really cool will says those buttons are hot at comic cons cool I mean, i'm glad they sold well for you you said no name yet nah well you know we know names will come it's a dream machine maybe dreamy <laughs> dreamy sounds like a cool name i'm a young chick oh man i don't know about that <laughs> kim solomon says you're older than me we'll see you guys i don't know i'm i'm trying to uh last week you said you oh i sure did oh miss eunice thank you i did buy something new so i'll have to ring the bell for myself i guess oh man and i didn't bring it in here and that sucker is heavy too i got a new heat press that's what i got um and the cool thing about that heat press is it's a hat heat press or at least that's what i'm using it for um and it has an attachment that's made is specifically for hats all right and then there's also an attachment to do cups if i wanted to um and an attachment to do plates if i wanted to do plates and the regular flat surface 
for the heat press. It's like a five in one or something like that. I don't know, but I bought it for hats <laughs> because um, I've shown you guys um, my dad's brand, the no look brand of his t-shirts. And I'm like, dad, how cool would it be to add um, your no look to a hat? You know, so we've decided to branch out into doing no look hats. Um, and my mom has learned to use the heat press as well. So she's super excited about pressing hats herself. As a matter of fact, I have a whole box of pink visors, sun visors, um, that she's going to press for the event on September the 22nd and, uh, in support to her sister who is currently, uh, undergoing treatment for breast cancer. And she goes with her to doctor's visits and she wants to give hats to staff and folks that are there so she's really excited about playing with the new machine as well as a matter of fact she invested in the machine as well on trying to get that in there so i can go get it miss eunice it's just i didn't have it in here right now and i kind of hate to be like okay i'll be back i'll be back and leave the camera but you know i know how that goes <laughs> matter of fact i'll go get it while i show you guys the the threads again let's see um Miss Sylvia says, we all bless you so much. You teach with so much love. God bless you so much. Thank you very, very wholeheartedly because I do try. I, again, my main goal is to keep folks from struggling because I struggled when I first started. I'm trying to tell y'all it was rough. It really was. Miss Bickup says, nowadays you see them as political buttons and such too. That is absolutely correct. A lot of folks wear those for uh, political uh, items. Miss Bickham, no, I wasn't calling you old. <laughs> you can call it small payments. Oh, man, that's funny. That's kind of mean, though. <laughs> Don't call your baby small payments. That is hilarious. Well, I'm going to run and grab this machine. I'm going to um, also refresh you guys and tempt your tummies with this thread box so that you can see that as well and hopefully consider getting your uh, subscription box. And let me go grab this baby real quick and bring it in. She's kind of kind of heavy, but not too much. Right, here she is, Miss America. Oh, I actually probably can hang on to her right here and move the camera. Okay, so there you guys see what is tempting to come up with in the thread box for next month. And I'm going to bring this baby now. She's kind of heavy. All right, so we haven't named her, but this is the hat heat press. All right, and it's pretty heavy, but because it doesn't have the large square flat plate on it for pressing shirts, it's nowhere near as heavy as it really could be. Um, I'm gonna set her back down and see. So you lift the handle up, and I'm gonna show it to you now with the handle lifted and see she swings and that's where the hat goes right here you put her on let's see i can't remember how it goes i'll show y'all in a minute it's kind of hard to do that and hold it too and it's got a timer thing so it's pretty neat actually and i don't want to hit myself in the face with it either but um this is pretty much how it works and you lock it in place and let it press um it's for vinyl um or sublimation type stuff so that's what we invested in to be able to do hats um you also can do uh bling with it which is the other reason why i felt necessary to go ahead and invest in it to be able to put bling on hats as well which i have yet to do that 
Um, but I've been busy preparing for the upcoming show. So, I don't know. Should I ring the bell for a heat press? I don't know. That's kind of lame in my opinion. Because <laughs> I didn't even think to name them. To me, my babies are the machines that sew and stitch and such. So, I don't know. I'll think about it. What say you? What say you? Should I ring the bell for a heat press? <sighs> We'd be ringing the bell for everything. <laughs> if we started doing... um. If we started ringing bells for heat presses too. Miss Bickham says you wanted to get one for doing hats and cups for your family reunions and favors. That's cool. Yeah, my mom is the best. She helped get the uh, heat. She actually wanted the hat heat press almost more than I did. So, <laughs> Miss Becky Bartell says I learned so much from you because there are no classes to take near Fort Myers, Florida. A lot of folks uh, have mentioned how it's difficult to get classes and I, I try to tell people ahead of time uh, I get questioned quite a lot where should they buy their machine from should I get it from the dealer so that I can get classes well guess what most dealers charge for their classes or don't offer them at all so don't be super disappointed if you buy a machine and you can't get classes all right uh, Taylor Roberts says, hey, you're ordering your first machine tonight, and I love your videos and need all the advice you can get. Well, Taylor, thank you for letting me know you're getting your machine. We look forward to helping you out as much as possible. Let us know when you get your baby in-house and you name her so we can ring the bell for your new machine. And embroidery, welcome to the club because it's addictive, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, Kim Solomon says it looks dangerous. <laughs> no, it's not though. I mean, shoot, when that thing heats up to 350 degrees, yes, it's very dangerous then. But otherwise, for the most part, it's not too terribly dangerous. That's actually a pretty simple machine. I like it. Uh, Brenda Scott, what brand was that again? Um, for the heat press, I don't remember. I have to, um, look that up, Miss Brenda. I don't remember what brand it was. Um, let me see, is it on the front? Nope, it's not even on the front, so I don't know what brand the machine is. Uh, Janet McKinney says, great, it looks good. Will says, we have a few at your full-time job, and you love sublimation. Yes, most times it's used for sublimation, but I don't have uh, sublimation equipment. That's not something I've thought about getting into because there's just so much to uh, consider, and I have to get a whole new printer, and you got to get sublimation paper and sublimation ink and oh my gosh it's entirely too much <laughs> um janet mckinney you say yes will says yes eh. reese by veronica how much did it cost and where did you purchase it from i am an amazon queen reese by veronica i do anything just about and everything on amazon so that's where i got it from <laughs> Um, it was $180, if I'm not mistaken, um, and free shipping, of course, because I uh, elected for the two-day free shipping as a Prime member, um, so I did get it from Amazon. Debbie says yes. Debbie Kid says yes. Justin says yes. Bickham says yes. A baby is a baby. Oh, man. It's a baby that makes you money. To that end, will. I'll ring the bell. So let's ring the bell for the new heat press, baby. Woo! <laughs> Cat heat press in the house. Holla! Yay! <laughs> we got us a hat heat press, baby. Yay! Thank you, guys. That was hilarious. <laughs> Anytime there's addition to the family, we celebrate. Valerie Hill, you said a mouthful. Thank you so very much. And I did ring the bell for your baby, too, Miss Bickham, didn't I? I did not name it, Miss Eunice. I did not name it. I'm going to have to figure that out. Nancy Faust says, what is sublimation? Sublimation? <laughs> you love when the bell rings. Sylvia says she loves the bell. Will, what did the cats do? He told me his cats go crazy when I ring. <laughs> that is hilarious to me to think about it every time I do think about it. Um, subli sublimation, uh, yeah, it requires a dye, my bad. It's a dye that you buy, but it prints on, the, you know what, we'll explain sublimation. I, if they ran, oh no, tell the kitties I'm sorry. <laughs> Put it on your list for Amazon, I will do that. She said, he said, name it Hot Mama. 
<laughs> I don't know. That's hot mama back there. That thing heats up. Boy, it's, it almost melt my stuff. I have to be careful. 180. That's a, yeah, 180 is an excellent price. I'm pretty sure it was 180. Let me make sure before I lie to y'all. Oh my God. Well, you done got me doubting myself. <laughs> Which I do it all the time. So I'm not, you know, surprised. Um, let me say before I get out of here, let y'all know I paid. What did I tell you? 180? I lied. It was two thirty nine, two thirty nine ninety nine is what I paid, and it's called the Royal Press Professional Twelve by Fifteen Rotation Sublimation Heat Press Multi Five in One Multifunction Combo Heat Press Machine. So it was two fifty two forty two hundred and forty is what I paid for my machine all right i was wrong 170 is the plain one that one is 179 i think is the regular just flat one but the five and one is 240 is what i paid for it and i got it ooh, when did i get it the 25th of august so a couple of weeks now i've had that baby so that is what I have. And let me go back to, I done lost my chat, y'all. Oh, here it is. So yes, I'm sorry. It was $240. $240. You cannot explain sublimation in 200 characters. Okay. So if you look up the definition to sublimation, it's something to the effect of the, the liquid turning into a gas or something of the effect. And I'm giving this the rough draft version. But essentially, you print it on something, you put it on the item that you want it to sublimate to by applying heat. The dye soaks basically almost into what it's going on. So no matter what it is, whether it's a shirt, whether it's a cup, whether it's no matter what it is, that dye kind of permeates the item and it becomes a permanent uh, part of it. And you don't feel like with uh vinyl or embroidery you feel the texture there's no texture to feel if i'm remembering correctly um will make sure that i'm not lying on that but the sublimation is really awesome because there from what i understand there isn't very much that you can't sublimate on um i've seen people do lighters i've seen people do um metal plates i've seen canvas i've seen plates i've seen hats i've seen shirts i've seen keychains i mean that i mean people are sublimating on everything um but it's quite pricey uh, when you get the dye and you get the right paper and you print it out and then you gotta what you got your heat press and you have to make sure that whatever you're putting it on can accept the heat um that it takes to make the ink transfer uh, but for the most part, that's sublimation, all right? And it's it's actually uh, very lucrative right now because the things that people are able to put on, say, for instance, shirts, like actual photographs of um, people, like, for instance, um, okay, so there's, like, heat transfer where you can put it in your regular printer and put it on your shirt and press it and put a picture on a shirt okay but this is like on a whole nother level it looks absolutely great okay um so people are shooting more for that because they're able to do images vivid colors a whole bunch of different things at one time like for instance um, this hat that I just did is three colors, right? So when I go to embroider this particular hat, it's got to do the yellow, then it's got to do the red, then it's got to do the white. You know what I'm saying? It's layers. Even with vinyl, vinyl is in layers. Well, with sublimation, it's all together. You do one shot, one hit with the heat, and you're done. So that's why sublimation is the hot ticket thing right now between sublimation and direct to garment. Um, and hopefully we'll get into that more um, as we get closer to the NBM show that's coming up in November that I'll be attending as well uh, because they have sublimation equipment that they'll be selling there and they have um, direct to garment equipment they'll be selling there. There'll be embroidery equipment. There'll be vinyl equipment. There'll be uh, rhinestone stuff there. I mean, just 
anything dealing with the garment decoration industry is going to be there so i'm really super excited about the nbm show it's free to attend um and if you would like there is also classes you can sign up for i'm not affiliated with it i'm not featured there or anything of that magnitude but i do intend to go so if you want to show up and hang out just a little bit out at the nbm show with me that will be phenomenal and i'm looking forward to it that's november the second third and fourth or something to that effect um look it up google nbm show and the information on it if i'm not mistaken somebody posted in the google plus group as well so i'd have to look at the calendar to be 100 percent sure what the dates are matter of fact let me do that i hate doing y'all and be saying i need to look it up november friday is the second so the first is when classes start educational classes start then the second it's open to the public and then the third is saturday the last day of it from what i understand it's not through sunday so i will be there miss eunice i did mention i want to double mention that i will make sure to add that list to the amazon um uh my baby's booty amazon page um hot hatty becky bartos that's adorable i like that a little bit better than um uh, hot mama <laughs> i can hear my mama now she was gonna say oh that's because of me no i'm not gonna say hot mama to you <laughs> just so boutique by nina hello i'm late oh man it's all right you're here we appreciate you being here brenda scott thank you very much and Vitrilia named your first embroidery machine Eve after our precious host because oh you named your first embroidery machine Eve oh my gosh that is amazing because after watching lots of videos hers was the best and have been watching her ever since the baby's booty number one thank you Vitrilia that is totally totally awesome <laughs> hopefully she acts right for you and she doesn't act up and break threads and stuff because then I'm gonna feel bad <laughs> Jenny McKinney says, Eve, you got your dream machine Friday. Can I hear you ring your bell for you just so you can hear it, Miss Janet? Of course I will. So let's ring the bell for a dream machine, y'all. Woo! Fancy, fancy. We got a dream machine. I dream of Janet. Yes, we do. <laughs> dream machine. Sorry, kitty cats for Will. My bad. <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Janet, on your dream machine. And please don't name that baby small payments. <laughs> Betty Ann Brown says, I didn't get the answer to your question. What is the thread? I sure did see that question. I apologize. And I meant to go back to it. Your thread weight for small lettering, I will tell you, is 60 weight thread. Your regular embroidery machine thread is 40 weight. The 60 weight, the higher the number, the thinner the thread. So your 60 weight is thin. However, the thinnest is 75 weight. Madeira sells 75 weight embroidery uh, machine thread. Only in limited colors though. Uh, mostly whites and blacks and stuff like that. But um, your 60 weights are limited in colors as well. Uh, but 60 weight is the thread that you want to use for small lettering. Micro lettering that is all right so let me go back to this i'm already over time y'all this is shameful i just can't i just can't get it together <laughs> um let's see sylvia says ring the bell for janet i know that was totally awesome the tie the dye dyes the polyfilm that's on the item every item has a polyfilm on it okay cool well that answered that you will do a video on sublimation you can go right ahead. I have no sublimation information. And you know what? If you do a video on it, I will link it to the Baby's Booty page. So definitely be sure to let me know if you do that. Um, Does anyone know for sure if you can safely put the Yeti style tumblers in the heat press? And Will says no. Brenda, thank you for answering that for you. Um, Justin, Will is actually not far from us. So I'm sure he would be willing to uh, hook you up on that. Um, let us see. 8 a.m. class from Kundu Systems class. That would be great. Okay, you're going to have to let me know what all of that. That's really cool. On the 4th. At the embroidery show. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Will, when is that show going to be? 8 a.m. on the 4th? That's, that's not the NBM show, is it? Somebody told me it's not going to be on the 4th. So, I'm wondering if they were incorrect. <laughs> 
Um, let me see. Scroll down. Scroll down. You won't do sublimation on t-shirts? Um, let me see. Vickham, you use sublimation pages that you ordered and you were very happy with them. You're going to have to show me that, ma'am. Send me pictures. Miss Dar says, we have landed. Very good. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for the heads up on the thread. Wait for small lettering. You just answered a question for me. Cool. We appreciate it when folks get questions answered, crisscross, and everybody learns. <laughs> Janet, you're welcome. You're welcome. NBM, yeah, check, check that um, on the 4th, please. I was told there wasn't anything on the 4th. So that would be interesting. Matter of fact, let me look as well. You'll probably find it before I will. Oh, uh, Charlotte. So if you guys want to go to the MBM show, it says the second through the third will. I know on the first, on the first, there's going to be um, classes on the first that you can take, but the actual show part where the vendors are selling stuff and things like that it's not um up and running on the first on the second and the third is when you can go visit vendors and buy stuff okay but on the first there are classes that you can take so that i do know is available all righty oh my gosh miss dar smith thank you very much i really appreciate the super chat that is amazing you you are so sweet and very awesome to me but i just have to tell you i just i really appreciate it so oh my gosh you're gonna make me blush so i do want to let you know thank you for letting me know you made it safely i'm glad you made it safely and thank you for the super chat that is totally awesome will says second and fourth second and third will you said second and forward <laughs> will you said second and forward 8 a.m to 9 30 a.m 207 road to sublimation success presented by conde system second of november you must sign up for the show and sign up for the class so november the second is friday i will be at the nbm show on friday all right However, everyone, I won't be at the show on the 3rd because the 2nd through the 7th is my annual vacation and I will be in the mountains. Vitrillia's Super Chat is when you can donate uh, funds to your favorite YouTuber or to a YouTuber that you watch. It's actually in support of the channel um, and it is going directly to the baby's booty youtube account which is totally sweet and awesome and not expected so we definitely appreciate when a contribution is made to our channel it does help us keep up and going um helps get equipment it helps make sure uh because we got some cool new tricks coming up for the youtube channel that i'm super excited about some fun little interactive things that you guys are going to be able to do from your end with our channel how cool is that so uh we're working on that as well and that's the kind of stuff that any types of contributions that you guys give uh helps keep us up and running here at the baby's booty and i really definitely appreciate your support miss dar when you do give it and miss beckham and to many of the others that also contribute by purchasing from the amazon store that is phenomenal as well because that amazon actually helps it comes in very handy because <laughs> i do um amazon all day every day just <laughs> constantly buying stuff but anyway i digress it's 9 19 oh my god i got y'all 20 minutes late that's horrible angelina madden oh my gosh thank you i really appreciate that contribution as well thank you very much for that super chat that is amazing you guys don't don't make me blush <laughs> dar smith says eve when you go to the 60 weight thread for small lettering do you change your needle size miss dar i'm gonna let you know now i very rarely change my needle size rarely ever um because i use the 7511 sharp uh embroidery thread i mean embroidery needle so for the most part i only would change that needle is when i'm doing maybe glitter thread if i'm having issues out of the glitter thread and it's not stitching properly i may bump up to um 
an embroidery needle with a little bit larger eye that's better suited for the metallic thread but otherwise i rarely change my needle even for um even for in the hoop projects or stitching on uh, vinyl the, the little bit thick vinyl i still don't change my needle i just don't i love that 75 11 sharp i haven't had issues out of it yet so angelina it's okay you are a part of the family anybody that sits and watches and puts up with me chattering on for over an hour <laughs> you are part of the family officially so feel free to join the google plus group if you haven't already the link should be in the description below if not it will be um and i want to welcome everyone in here to the family i really appreciate it when you guys join us on sundays at 8 p.m if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video please feel free to give us a thumbs up to let us know that we're doing our job sheila cuffy says you don't change needles for hats on your six needle machine either i do not i do not uh dar smith you haven't had any issues with your needle either that's very good so reese by veronica you're welcome justin thank you for welcoming and janet you as well you guys it's past my bedtime so i'm gonna sign off and i really want to thank you again for joining us this evening from now on if you ever have any questions you can save them for the chat don't forget it's the first of the month so we're going to what back up our embroidery designs and find an item to distash out of your studio to simplify things in your studio all right we want to check out that carolinathreadbox.com it's time for the project the last person that can sign up is on the 10th the last time you can sign up for the september boxes on the 10th for trillia thank you oh my gosh i really appreciate you guys y'all are amazing this is so cool y'all are I'm, I'm just i'm tripping right now <laughs> i'm trying not to show emotion and stuff on camera that's just it's not good it's not good for me i don't like to do emotion like that in front of people but anyways thank you Patricia. that is awesome that is amazing thank you very much so you guys i want you to have a great night all right i look forward to seeing you next sunday all right so next sunday let me know what you distashed out of your studios okay i want to know what you got rid of what made the weight lift off for you also look forward to finding out a little bit more information about that carolina thread box project that's coming up and i look forward to doing the first project with you all so until the next time we have you all here with us what do we want you to do who's going to be the first one to let us know so i can ring the bell for the first person that says it who's gonna be the first person to get the bell ring just a little bit <laughs> for being the first person to let us know what you want what would you like to have nobody said it they're gonna get a free bell ring will happy <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted me to scare the cats that's all that was <laughs> happy embroidering you guys you guys have a great evening and i look forward to seeing you all next sunday good night <laughs> bye and thank you again for the super chats <laughs> thank you good night